welcome, my friends, my friends. Look at this fool thinking he picked a little from Dragon Ball Z, man. Trying to do the special being canon on the evil Microsoft Rares. What are you crying about today, man? Family, my fellow gamers, your only friend is YouTube Streets Porter Rock 77 with a new video. As you can see from the background, I want to talk to you about a uh, continuation of the hate behind the PlayStation 5. Oh Pro. my God, here we go again, man. I've never seen a pony try so hard to defend the PlayStation 5 Pro. What is wrong with you ponies? Nobody wants it, man. I get it. Oh, we want to go. We want performance and resolutions, bro. But you got all that with no games. Now, all of a sudden, they're making, they're talking shit. You're the... talking crap about my platform, man. Bro, you acting like a crybaby, bro. You a grown man on a work trip, and you're out here stressing about if people don't like the pro or not. Even PlayStation fanboys don't even care for the pro. Did you see Jack move Johnny in the Weapon Wheel podcast? He was letting BG have it. You know, that man screamed and shouted so loud that even his own camera broke in and went over 9,000. You see? I mean, come on, man. At least the dude wants some games, bro. Like, what's wrong with you people, man? Like, when did PlayStation fanboys get so caught up with hardware when you guys weren't like this during the PS4 generation? You guys thought it was stupid as to why Microsoft had a One X, which actually had a significant improvement over the One S, but y'all said it had a lack of games. Now, all of a sudden, it's different? Native resolution, apparently, over Alan Wake 2. Now, once again... PlayStation 5 Pro has new technology, the PSSR, which yeah, is... Yeah, but that kind of goes against your argument of PlayStation being 4K, 120 frames. That goes against your logic, because isn't that the same resolution that you guys complained that Hellblade 2 have? Yet you have no problem playing Alan Wake on an upgraded console, at, mind you, at 864p. Like I said, it doesn't bother me. My point is, is that the fact that you guys said that, oh, I can't play Hellblade because it's 900p, and now you're playing a game that's even lower on the PlayStation 5 Pro, and you have no problem with it. What? Uh, Console-specific technology for the PlayStation that what NVIDIA did with DLSS. The part that's crazy is, when it comes to talking about DLSS, these haters know exactly is intended for right so oh, no you know they know what it's intended for but it's still not what they wanted man they wanted a significant improvement especially if people out here shelling 700 dollars, and then your people are going to use this excuse like oh you can trade your existing console and get the other one by paying an additional 300 no how about i just keep the money that i already got and keep the consoles that i have and just keep it right there because i'm not trying to buy no vertical stand and i have a lot of physical games for ps4 and 5 so that means i'll have to buy another disc drive no i'm good Many of them on their PC, they play at 1080p, enable enable the LSS, and boom, you get that 4K clarity, right? And the frame rates that they want. But apparently, PlayStation is not allowed to do that. Well, what, what are you talking about? Allowed to do that? First off, these are marketing terms. I'm not saying that isn't. Is I'm just saying this whole whole PlayStation Super Spectral Resolution transformation. That's a marketing term, bro. That is not unique to Sony. That's what you don't understand. And what's even more funny about this is the fact that you guys, this goes against your whole, argu whole argument. P PCs can run at whatever they want to. That's the difference. Your consoles is capped to do this. Okay? You're capped to go. They can go further if they choose to. So, yes, they could choose to do the DL or whatever this dude's talking about and do that. But at the same time, bro, you're not going to get 4K. All this stuff that you just said, you're not getting 4K anything. PlayStation is not allowed to select a lower resolution, enable PSSR, see that amazing clarity, and get that. Oh, you know, PlayStation is not allowed, just like Xbox gamers weren't allowed to just enjoy their games. And then you want people to sympathize with you for playing a game that's lower than Hellblade 2. You see, it's the hypocrisy of you fools, man. Like I said, I don't even mind. You know what I mean? But it's the fact that you guys damage control so hard for this platform you know, you're not even getting what you're promised. Well, bro, we didn't even get what we was promised on the original PS5, but we're not even getting what's promised with the Pro. So what is the point of buying this console, man? Airframes, fidelity, settings, all that stuff. Nope. Can't do that. That's only a PC exclusive. So PC... You no, know, that has nothing to do with it, man. That, that, I don't think PC gamers care. See, this is what you don't understand. Play, do gamers of all different types of demographics are bashing the PS5? Bro, there's even PlayStation fanboys not liking it. 
What do you not understand, man? The fact that your own fanboy community can't even stand this platform shows you that the platform is a piece of garbage, and you're one of the only people that I know that is out here single-handedly defending it, man. I'm telling you, just give this man the award for the corporate slave of the year. Seriously, Dreamcast guy, he was in second place, and he just couldn't make it, man. Porter Rock, you know, he gave in, and he became somewhat of a neutral gamer. Porter Rock, he's, still, he's at the top, bro. This man needs to be in a corporate slave awards, bro. He, as a matter of fact, he 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 slaved so much for Sony that he even won it. He went in the future and won 2025 too. Like this is crazy, man. You know what I mean? Like I I, I don't understand, bro. Like as much as you guys love PlayStation, we we got you guys got to put your foot down in some aspects. Gets praise, right? Nvidia gets praise for providing amazing technology, right? that you don't have to waste resources on native resolution. So oh, we- here we go. Now you want to talk about native resolutions, bro. Nothing you had on PlayStation 5 was 4K anyway. What you guys bashing Xbox for saying, oh, we do 4K 60 frames per second games, and y'all weren't even doing that with last generation titles. It was like 1700p, 60, right? Variable resolutions. Yeah, you, None of your games hit a native 4K resolution. Hope you understand that. More of those resources can go towards... That's why when you see in Sea of Thieves that actually is 4K and runs at 120 frames, your minds were blown. Oh, wow, Xbox, they, they threw out a better version on our platform than their own. To a certain degree, maybe with the grass foliage and all that, but it still runs very well on the Xbox Series X. That's a 4K, 120 frames per second game. Like I said, Microsoft has more of those games than Sony. Sony don't have 4K 120 frames per second games, not even on their last generation titles. Now, I'm not saying that this is, oh, they see, this is what makes Xbox better than the PlayStation. Not saying that because they're still last generation titles. My point is, is that you people, you ponies have ran with a net narrative. I mean, they essentially wrote a check that you can't cash. That's exactly what you did, man. Y'all out here looking like, uh, what it was that, the, the, the chase money glitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. We getting free money, man. We getting free money. And then they found out the checks bounce. And then they look at their account and be like, oh, my God, I'm negative 20,000. I thought, you know, I thought they were out here giving me free money. Like, he do look like the type of dude that would have did the chase money glitch, man. Don't he? And frame rates and, you know, better uh, settings and all that stuff. But you're right? not getting that with the pro. Yeah. But then when PlayStation does it, it's a bad thing and people make It's not that PlayStation does it. It's the fact that there's no improvement. What do you don't understand, man? You've seen the screenshots just like everybody else and people looked at it and says, what's the difference? How about you do a comparison to that Porter Rock and talk about the screenshots and what do you think is actually different in between the two screenshots that you've seen? Do a video like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how well your eyes work to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. They got a little, 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 you know, brown speck on the ground. You know, when, when uh, Joel's running, well, not when Joel, Ellie's running, you see the dirt, you know, a little bit, little particles on her shoes. What? Yeah, yeah, she's there. Yeah, 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 look, look, you got to get this close to the screen. You see? Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Bro, see, this is the type of stuff that I can't stand with gaming, man, because it's like people like you are really single-handedly hurting this this platform, man. Instead of you just being honest and telling Sony, hey, we just want more games, man. We don't care for this PlayStation 5 Pro. But instead, they're going to keep doing this because, like I said, you guys like to buy your hardware sales. This, this, is, this is just another case of PlayStation derangement syndrome. It's absolutely insane. No, this is PlayStation derangement, derangement syndrome, what you're doing right now. Because you're the only one deranged right now, bro. Like, how can you praise PC for doing something, and then when PlayStation does it, you bash it? The crazy it's not even. It's not about them bashing PlayStation for doing it. It's the fact that people are looking at the PS5 in comparison to the Pro, and they're not seeing no. They're looking at this dude's getting ready to cry. Like, what's what's going on here, man? You all right there, Pookie? The part is everybody should be praising. If you praising, too- bro, you hear this guy? We should be praising the PlayStation 5, man. We need to be like Dreamcast guy, you know, praying the, the, holy, the holy spirit of, of Sony. What? You need into tech and all that stuff. You should be praising. Not sure. What? Everybody could be talking shit about the $700, but this should be zero shit talking. Zero. That's funny because when the One X came in and it actually, in my opinion, really made that console worth it, you guys was bashing it saying it didn't have no games. 
And the funny thing is they actually did have games come out for the One X and they had a lot of optimized titles for that platform. And you guys specifically, I remember, bashed that console and said that they don't have as many games as PlayStation. You think people are going to forget? We remember what you ponies have stated. And now you want us to praise PlayStation 5 for coming out with a new piece of hardware with no games? Do you hear yourself, bro? Bro, shit talking about the PSSR, right? Now, I can understand maybe some people may have, you know, concerns, or maybe the PSSR may not be that good. That's legit. Until we fully see it, until see, we see more games, until it's out, until the console's in the uh, box. Yet, Sony actually does the things for their console, actually makes it a priority. They actually want to... How, how, how is Sony making another PlayStation 5 Pro prioritizing... The gamers are already here. You're not even entitled. You're not. You don't. You're not even obligated to have to pick up the pro. And most PlayStation owners are not. I'm sorry, man. Sony better go back to working with sculptors again and try to make this a sought after product because nobody really cares about this platform, bro. They didn't care about it with the PS4 Pro, and I can guarantee they don't care about it with the PS5 Pro. And they definitely don't care for for the reasons that you people wanted for, which is playing remasters on this console because that's exactly what you're going to be doing i mean the, the playstation community has to be one of the biggest jokes here bro i'm sorry man you guys are a laughing stock push technology they actually want their- push technology right and i'm hearing that it has the same teraflops as the base oh yeah they push technology even though the cpu is exactly the same as it was in the original base model ps5 do you hear yourself bro console to mean something you know they they push they pushed it so much that it's it's more powerful than a 4090 yeah bro you know what i i don't even know why i'm going on with this and they're gonna push technologies they're gonna push you know they're not the, pushing nothing things boundaries gonna because keep- if they if, if you're sa- telling me that the ps5 is pushing boundaries then last of us part two should have looked like a whole completely different game when it was running on the ps5 pro it looked identically the same most even fanboys will tell you, yeah, it didn't really look that much better, man. Keep doing it. And y'all hate on it. But at this point... But you guys hate on everything PC, you hate on everything Nintendo, you hate on everything Xbox. But if people have some form of constructive criticism on your beloved platform, they just some haters. Bro, said by a real fanboy. It's not even about, you know, PlayStation fanboys or, you know, you guys trying to make fun of us or whatever. No, 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 no. You guys are sore losers. And it's so, pathetic. Sore losers? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? You want... How is PC sore losers when their games are single-handedly selling better on their platform than even your own? Well, who's the sore loser here? Unless you're directing this towards Xbox fans, Nintendo definitely ain't a part of this equation because they're beating you guys 10 to 1 in every single category. Hardware sales, software sales, people supporting their online subscription service for their online multiplayer games. Nintendo has hit it out out of the park in all regards. So who are you referring this comment to? Xbox dudes? Yeah, Xbox or yep. PlayStation. It's, 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 you see, it's so funny. How, like, you people are so predictable. See, I, it's, it's kind of funny how I paused the video before I even seen it and heard what he had to say. I already knew this was coming up. It's doing for their console. And you guys can't just simply admit it. So you do this loser bullshit, and now you become an Xbox refugee on PC. Yeah, this man's sad, bro. You can tell this man's severely broken inside, bro. What are you talking about? Xbox on PC. Sony's doing the same thing. I know you heard the news of Sony planning to drop their games day and date with PC. So what is your problem? They already did it with Helldivers 2, and they did it with Concord, bro. That's enough proof to me to know that Sony don't care about their console gaming division like they once used to. See, you people just want to live in the past, man. You guys know that what Sony's doing is bad for them, and you guys are essentially blaming Microsoft for essentially pushing these ideas, which is also impacting the direction of where Sony's going. Pretending you guys were all about PC and stuff like that. And then for the PC crowd... The fanboy, the PC fanboys, right? Because let, let's be honest, I did, believe it or not, I've seen a lot of PC gamers, right? You know, actually ready to get a PS5 Pro only because they're just impressed with the technology and stuff like that. Well, now nah, you're lying to yourself, bro. You are absolutely lying to yourself if you think a PC fanboy wants to pick up a PlayStation 5 Pro when the platform that they got is way more powerful than yours, bro. Then you have to explain as to why that's the case, man. Why would a PC fan would pick up a PS5 Pro 
Now, I know they'll probably pick it up for GTA 6, but I don't think they would go as far to pick up a pro. They'd probably just play it for the time being, and then hopefully the game would get ported to their platform. That's probably maybe something a PC gamer would do. But you're saying that a PC gamer, he's making it seem like PC gamers are so impressed with the pro that that he, that he they're picking, they're even picking one up, bro. No, no, they're not. Cut the nonsense, man. Maybe a fake PC gaming neutral, but that's it. Because they're going to switch from PC to place it no no they're impressed with technology they also enjoy playing that console they're not impressed bro not even your own community's impressed and guess what why this... do you think jack move johnny and bg was fighting and having a civil war even on their own weapon will podcast come on bro it is the best console come if on, you bro. want to play games on console it just absolutely is how how is it when space marine runs way better on the xbox series x argue that bruh argue that it's so funny that you guys don't want to talk about... You guys always talk about how PlayStation 5 games always run better than Xbox games, but then you guys, for some reason, forget that Space Marine 2 existed, and it runs far better on the Series X. But let's not talk about that. Let's, 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 let's wait for uh, a digital foundry comparison with where the PlayStation 5 actually won, and then we'll say that they... I told you, it's a case-by-case basis for some of these titles, man. But you people want to hold on to the fact that, oh, you know, PlayStation 5 is more powerful, even though it's a weaker console in comparison to the Series X. There's no debate about that, right? But the ones that are angered the most are the play, are the, are the PlayStation haters. PC guys, complete PlayStation derangement syndrome. Wow. Some of these guys have 4080s. You hear this, guys? You hear this, guys? PC fanboys have PlayStation, de- what is it, derangement syndrome? The 90s or 3090s and stuff like that. They have more powerful PCs than the PS5 Pro. They've made the decision to not play on consoles no more. And they're freaking out. They're absolutely freaking out. And they're freaking out because they don't want PlayStation to put their own console first. They, they want... But hold on, 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 hold on. What?! You're saying that PC gamers are afraid because they don't want Sony to put the bro, Silent Hill Two Until Dawn remake or drop it on PC. I don't think PC gamers care. I don't think a new piece of hardware is going to stop PC gamers from getting your games. I think they don't care. I, I can't believe that he actually used hardware in comparison to PC and made it seem as if PC gamers care. If anything, they're laughing at you. They're clowning y'all. They're like, wow, look at this, man. We're still in their games, and they don't even have games for themselves. You want to know what's prioritized or favoritizing the PS5? Stuff like Astrobot. Games that are, I don't know, I don't think it's on PC. Stuff like that. A game that's on PS5, but you can't play it on PC. That is favoritizing the PS5 platform. But if you're telling me that, oh, it's because Sony's making a new upgradable, upgradable PS5 Pro, that that's why PC gamers are upset. They're afraid that, see, they prioritize Sony. When your PS5 Pro is built with PC counterparts in mind, then you know what, bro? Like, you've completely lost it. I'm starting to think that you're the one that has the PlayStation, what is it? Depression syndrome. PlayStation to do what Xbox did to their console, which was make it irrelevant. But that way... So we're going to sit here and act like Sony ain't doing day and day games with PS5? (laughs) All products, everything is day and day on PC. They want Sony... To treat PC the same way Microsoft treats PC. But when Sony does moves like this, when Sony creates more powerful hardware, when Sony's like, hey, we're going to make a concerted effort to improve the PlayStation experience, they fear they fear that. The reason why they fear that is because <laughs> PC game if Sony keeps doing this, afraid. then it extends right the their hopes and dreams of seeing all games day and day on PC. That's what this is about. They want to see all games day and day on PC and moves like this Makes them realize, man, Sony's still all about their console. They- no, no, it doesn't. Sony's a- about suckering people because only only a person that, like I said, I've had people in my comment section tell me they pick it up the pro. I personally don't care what people pick up, but let, let's, let's be honest. This is a huge scam from Sony. They are suckering their diehard loyal fan base by having you guys buy another piece of platform, uh, of, of no- another piece of a platform, and with no games. That has to be the biggest sucker, bro. I mean, let's be honest, man. The PS5 bro, Pro is dropping with less games than the Atari Jaguar did back when that came out, bro. The PS5 Pro is a joke. And now I can start to see as to why people said Astro Boss should have been bundled with that platform. Because to be honest with you, it ain't worth dishing out $700 for that with no disk drive on top of it. It's all about 
you know, trying to give the best experience to their gamers. They're all about that. And moves like this hinders that. So if that was the case, then why are we talking about hardware and not games? They're going to try to bash. They're going to try to flame it. They're going to try to create this, you know, narrative. You know, hopefully it fails. They want PlayStation to fail because a PlayStation failing will force Sony to go full third party. No different. What do you mean? Full? I, I, and I, what do you mean? They're already third party. See, this whole, oh, they're full third. Now it's, it's, this, I, that's why I can't stand console peasants, bro. Because you guys use stuff like this. Oh, console exclusive. You know, third party, full third party. It's stupid, bro. Just admit that they're third party. Just admit it. Xbox is third party. Sony is third party. When you put your games on another platform, it's third party. Well, it ain't on Xbox, so that's not full. Bro, I don't care. It's third party. All you console fanboys do is find new ways to to essentially move the flagpole. That's all you do. PlayStation gamers know better than this. Oh, oh, Xbox One, y'all ain't got no real exclusives. They're on PC. Are the same individuals are now defending it, talking about, oh, we got console exclusives. We, you know, we, we it, ours is not, you know, it's third party, but it ain't full third party. Man, you know what, bro? I, I'm getting tired of it, bro. And now I see as to why console gamers have given up on the concept of a console because people like you make me sick, bro. Like, I can't believe you people even say stuff like this. Stop it, bro. Stop the cap. PlayStation putting a game on PC is the definition of third party. I don't care what any word or any way you want to flip and change the, the concept of what a word is supposed to mean. No. It is third party. Concord coming out on PC is third party. But it ain't coming on Xbox, so that's not full third party. Shut up. Turn their Microsoft. It happened on Xbox. Xbox failing made this whole move. Because the Xbox One Gen, Phil was forced to have him to go to PC day and date. The PC deranged haters wants the same thing. They want places to fail because in its failure... They have to turn to PC because what other choice you have? Well, yeah. then if that, if then according to your logic, PlayStation must be failing pretty hard because that's what they're doing. <laughs> you suck at being a marketplace leader, then you have no choice but to go to PC and be a games publisher and publish your games day and day. And moves like this shows confidence that PlayStation is successful, that PlayStation primarily relies on their console. That is the main effort. That is the main. Um, so, so what about their games? Revenue driver for them, not PC. PC is second fiddle. Guys, PC gamers, y'all second fiddle, right? See, the funny thing is Microsoft treats the Xbox and PC as equal by putting both games on platforms or whatever the case is, right? Now, you're saying that PC gamers is second fiddle. How is their second fiddle? Their games run better on PC. They don't run better on PlayStation. Okay, maybe they don't get all the games day and date or whatever, but Silent Hill 2 Remake, all those games that are dropping day and date are going to play and run better on PC. So how is PC second fiddle, even when the pro's out? So you want to sit there and talk about, oh, PC's not the top priority, you know what I'm saying? Well, Black Myth Wukong did better on PC than it did on PlayStation. Helldivers 2 did better on PC than it did on PlayStation. You don't think Sony sees that? You don't think Sony says, hmm, we see like we got more of an impact on PC than what we got with our own platform. This is a sucker, bro. This is a sucker move that they're doing. They're trying to sucker you guys for the last bit of dollars that you guys got so they can help push out that PlayStation 6 with GTA 6 and they can make that money that way. These PC haters hate that. This shit's upset them. They are absolutely for them to decide. Maybe that day may come. But until that day comes... You just look stupid in the corner. Yeah, man, you definitely look stupid this whole video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, man. But Porter Rock, bro, he has definitely won the Corporate Slave Awards of 2024, man. He might even gone to as far as to next year, but.